mean, it, it's incredibly alarming, right? I mean, the fact that our Republican leaders are saying they're not going to mess with the process, but yet they go and they talk to the president and issue this statement that they really only talked about COVID. Now, if you really believe that, we've got a bridge to sell you, right? So they had the opportunity there to look the president in the face and say, listen, the voters of Michigan have spoken. More than 149,000 uh, Michigan, the, the gap was more than 149,000, 14 times what that gap was when Trump won in 2016. The voters have spoken. And so they had that opportunity to set the record straight with the president and they come back and actually tell us they didn't even talk about that. And I absolutely agree with you that that statement was so vague. They never talked to the president about what they saw in Michigan and that the voters have spoken. Uh, they just put out these vague statements, um, but we are going to hold them accountable. The canvassers would, should, and will, we expect them to certify the vote uh, on Monday. Um, they did just receive tonight the report from the Board of Elections staff report that comes out that says there's absolutely no reason not to, to do your duty, certify these election results on Monday, and make sure that those 16 elector uh, college votes go to Biden. It, it does feel like there isn't much legal wiggle room. I mean, there isn't anything in Michigan law that puts the legislature in the middle of, of certifying the election results or picking the electors. Um, there does seem to be clear language in the law in terms of what that state board of canvassers shall do in terms of, of, of certifying the vote once they've got the tallies from the counties. But I, I am a little bit haunted by a conversation I had on the show last night with a former Republican official in Michigan, a man named Jeff Timmer who has, in a previous life, been one of the two Republicans on that state canvassing board. And he told me last night that he has no confidence either in those Republican legislative leaders who went to the White House today or in the Republicans on the board of canvassers um, in terms of their likelihood to stand, of standing up to pressure from the president, defending Michigan's election from pressure from him. It, it was worrying to hear that from somebody who used to be a big deal in Michigan Republican politics, somebody who knows the people involved here. I just have to ask if you you share that concern that this might come down to sort of personal integrity and patriotism um, and that that may be a worry here. I absolutely have that concern. But, you know, as you said, the legislature does not have a role in this process. And if, if something were to happen Monday night and they didn't certify the votes, the courts will step in as they have in the past when there's been some deadlock votes on uh, uh, citizens' initiatives. So I have faith in our courts that they will certify this if, they, if the canvassers do not do their job and certify the results. That the counties have already sent up, all 83 counties, as you mentioned, have certified their votes and sent them to the state. They have the report on their desk that says it's time to move forward and certify the vote for the entire state. And, um, you know, and let's start this transition to power.